Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In early March, Pokemon put out a tweet advising that a new update would be coming to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in late April. As of this morning, we've had an update on that new patch and it's coming a lot sooner than we initially thought. So like I say, back in March, around the 10th of March, Pokemon put out this tweet in regards to a new update that would be coming to Scarlet and Violet to fix primarily the Walking Wake and Iron Leaves Terror Raid event that happened at the time. The patch notes go on to say there were issues where players weren't updating their game before going into this new Terror Raid event. They were accessing it and instead of one of these new Paradox Pokemon appearing, there was a bad egg appearing, which players then went on to catch. And as a consequence of that, these players were then unable after updating their game to catch one of the Walking Wake or Iron Leaves Pokemon that were exclusive to this event, causing a few issues along the way now there were some other issues with the latest 1.2.0 update as well there was obviously the save data glitch that was wiping players save files that has been slowly getting resolved by nintendo but that was a big worry for a lot of players now no information currently has come out about this issue being fixed in the latest patch but you would hope and assume that things have been implemented in this new update to prevent that from happening in future to anyone else so like i say as of this morning an update has come for this brand new patch and it has come a lot quicker i was expecting it to be right at the end of the month when the walking work in the iron leaves terror Raid event would return but as you can see from this tweet an update addressing these issues will be released on april the 20th so as of recording this video on the 19th the update will be coming tomorrow for all of us playing Scarlet and Violet. In addition, the Walking Wake and Iron Leaves Terror Raid battle will arrive once more on the 1st of May and run for approximately two weeks. So this will allow players who experience the issues with that bad egg in the first place after the update to go back into this raid event when it goes live to catch these exclusive Pokemon in their games and also for anyone that missed that event initially they're now going to have the chance to go back in and catch these Pokemon which is a really nice feature for everyone that did miss that event. For the rest of us it gives us the chance to go in and battle these Pokemon again but the big news is that update and they do say that all of the details for this update the patch notes and things will be published when the update goes live. So I'm assuming that because we are currently on 1.2.0, this is the latest update for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we will be going on to 1.2.1 and that's what I would assume us to see when the update goes live tomorrow, but we'll have to wait and see. Of course, we will cover everything here on the channel, including the update when it goes live and all those patch notes to go over all of the fixes that this latest update will provide in Scarlet and Violet. But it is great news for us as players, especially those that are a little bit concerned about going into their game, maybe experiencing issues with that save data glitch that can wipe your file, although it is very minuscule the chances of it happening to you are very slim it is a worry of course and hopefully there is some more information around this in the new patch update notes nothing has been mentioned as of yet with the update of course so maybe nothing is going to be implemented but it would make sense that they implement fixes to this initial issue as well as the walking wake iron leaves issues that originally kind of cropped up and uh, a lot of players did suspect that it was linked to that Vivalon Pokemon Go compatibility between the Switch and the other games. So hopefully all these issues are resolved. People can have a bit more peace of mind going forward. But let me know what your thoughts are on this latest news. I hope you found today's update useful. If you have, please drop a like on the video. It does massively help out the channel. And do subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Of course, like I've already mentioned, we will be covering this update as soon as it goes live in game with all of those patch notes as well have a great rest of your day friends thank you so much for taking the time to tune in and take care and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care bye bye